right uh, good morning good morning ready yes sir right today we are going to discuss about types of projects what are the different types of projects are there in the it industry implementation project a roll out project upgrade project and support project what is an implementation project hello uh yes sir yes sir so this is like a planning project like where we can start beginning the correct project it is a new project in simple terms we can say it is a new project yes any company either it is a tata motors or reliance if they are using already some legacy systems oracle or data i mean dot net or java based softwares but if they are coming to sap first time mm -hmm. and project starts from the scratch means from the beginning and okay. followed by all sap methodology five phases and delivers the project to the client is called an implementation project so suppose okay. look, tata motors is our client we are working for suppose ibm mm -hmm. the tata motors in india they are operating the business and uk they are operating their business first mm -hmm. time in indian location they are going for sap it starts from the beginning and followed by sap methodology five phases and delivers the project to the client it is an implementation project in simple okay. terms it is a new project here important point is what is sap methodology suppose what is sdlc it's a software development cycle right software development life cycle which by using sdlc we can develop a software in the same way mm -hmm. for sap a specific methodology they have designed that is what it is called asap methodology asap methodology what is this methodology we'll see in the latter part of the classes right okay it is also like an sdlc only but okay in terms of sap they came up with their own methodology that is called asap methodology to implement any sap project to implement mm -hmm. any sap project they need to follow this asap methodology five phases <clears throat> now the first project is implementation the second one we are looking at roll out what do you mean by a roll out project roll out means uh, moving to different locations correct the same project, yeah. correct absolutely correct here we are what we are talking about tata is operating their business in india and uk first time mm -hmm. in indian location the sap is implemented that's why we are calling an implementation project now already in one location in indian location sap is already implemented means which is existing from there if you extend sap software to another location to uk with some localization mm -hmm. changes to suit the exact client requirement is called a roll out project means already in one location sap is already implemented now from there if you want to go for another location to extend same sap software but with some localization changes because whatever implemented in indian location 
which is suitable for India. But when we talk okay. about UK, certain taxation is different, currencies are different, and some functionalities also different. So to suit exactly to UK locations, these changes will be made. Those changes we are calling as localization changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. It is a rollout. Are you clear? Yes. Right. What is an upgrade project? Upgrade means uh, to adding the fixes and uh, enhancing the you know, right. some other mm -hmm. products. In the products. Right. Now, in 2015, in Indian, Tata Motor Indian location is implemented with SAP ECC 6 version. Okay. Uh -huh. In 2016, they came up with a new version for suppose ECC 7.1. So what they have to do is they have to upgrade their software from a lower version of SAP to a higher version of SAP. That is ECC 6 to ECC 7.1. That is what we will call a, an upgrade, upgrade project. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So what is current version in SAP? Yes, this one. This okay. is the version ECC6 server. A GUI, GUI is 7.3 is running on. SAP GUI 7.3. What is GUI means? I will show you in the system so that you will have more clarity on it. Sure. Right. Then. So, nobody has uh, moved to upgraded version to 7.0, right? I mean, right now is. It's not yet released. Actually, they're planning, but maybe released in maybe in few months or few years. Then we oh, okay. right. So what is the ECC? ECC stand for? Enterprise Central Component. ECC in abbreviation is ECC Enterprise Central Component. The version number is six, six point zero, okay. and the enhancement pack is. EHP 7. Okay. What is enhancement pack means? Whenever company is not ready to launch a new version, some new functionality they will release with the enhancement packs. If you install right. the EA enhancement packs, automatically the new functionality will be upgraded in your SAP server. Right. Right. The next one is a support project. What do you mean by a support project? Yeah, this is the answer what I told you before. Like, uh... Right. Either implemented or roll out or upgrade projects delivered to the client. While the client uh -huh. is using the delivered project, who are using? The client people are called end users. While the end mm -hmm. users are using the real system, real SAP system, sometimes they may come across with some sort of errors or issues. Then the support functional team will help the end users to resolve those issues. Either it is a implementation or rollout an upgrade project. Once we deliver to the client, that is client is using the system, they, then they may come across some sort of errors, they will try to resolve. If suppose they are not able to resolve, then they will need the support functional team's help. This is what it is called a support project. Okay. So, uh, here technical team will not be supporting, right? Here support project, only functional support team. Here, Functional team in SAP, there is a person called functional consultant. Uh -huh. Under the functional consultant, a technical developer will work. First, the functional team is more responsible. If they are also not able to do certain things, then with the help of the developer, 
they will resolve those issues okay okay so every functional our module has the the its own like business and uh, development right correct we will discuss in later part of this it will be there okay who are responsible for what what are their job responsibilities how they are going to do their job in a particular real time project all the information is given in the latter part of the sessions okay mm -hmm. there are four types of projects are there mainly they are implementation project roll out project upgrade upgrade project and support project mm -hmm. is it clear from your side yeah right here one important thing is there in support projects mainly we have a change request in other projects we have most of the times direct work but in support projects mainly the client may may come up with some of some sort of changes for each change mm -hmm. a change request will be created and that change will be implemented then the functional team the functional consultant will try will test most of the times if it is a very big support project or a rollouts are there then as a tester you will involve or else okay we are testing will be performed most of the times a functional consultant okay so basically as a csp tester we will be supporting only functional team right here implementation and rollout or upgrade projects are the big projects where an sap tester will have more work okay so we will i mean sap tester will be involving all these uh, four phases yeah any one of this project you will be involving suppose mm -hmm. you got a job now if you join the company they will assign you any one of this type of project oh, okay it might be a, like a support or it might be a rollout any, any yeah in one of that but most of the times here what i mean to say is less people will be here here more people are here this is a big project oh, okay okay mm -hmm. if you got the opportunity in implementation you will have your contract will be more like at least 9 months 6 to 9 months or 1 year 1 and of year depends upon the size of the company mm -hmm. okay so once the uh, project to support project done so support project never ends right so yeah yeah correct one. support project okay. will be a continuous thing when a client have multiple sets of multiple locations of operations because okay in india we are supporting for tata motors again rollout is at uk if they are mm -hmm. operating in one more country again one more rollout will be at us like that continuous work will be there so that the support project also will continue okay okay right now to implement any sap project we need to follow an asap methodology what is an asap methodology asap methodology is nothing but a means accelerated a means accelerated sap a means accelerated sap what do you mean by acceleration so the car or bike will have accelerators which will give right. a little bit speed right when you put it like you want to increase your speed just you will turn it off your accelerator here also to speed up your project we need to follow this methodology an sap project can be completed can be implemented in 6 to 9 months of time but still we can mm -hmm. have the projects for one year two year also but the minimum time they are given is 6 to 9 months of time in outside in general what we will call is sdlc software development life cycle but when we talk about in terms of sap that methodology is called asap methodology what is asap methodology will do means which will give you a step by step instructions 
to implement an SAP project. This can be also called as an end-to-end -end project or one full life cycle implementation When no, are you clear? So, yeah, are you following? Yeah, yeah. Which phase it can be used as a SAP methodology like implementation, rollout? Uh, yeah, can be used whole like uh, from implementation to support. Uh, Still, all project. the projects are required as SAP methodology, but support not required because these are all are very beginning from the beginning also it will start so that all phase of SAP methodology will be there but for support project not required they will continue like after implementation they will follow the support so that these three are important for following SAP methodology okay got it right what is SAP methodology means there are five phases are there in SAP methodology there are Five phases are there in a SAP methodology. What are those five phases means? First one is project preparation. Second one is business blueprint. Third one is realization. Fourth one is final preparation. Fifth one is go live and support. These are the five phases. We will call it as we will call it as SAP methodology or ASAP methodology. Will this okay. point clear? Yes. What is it? We'll discuss in detail. Give me one minute. Just again, I'll give you one more. 